Welcome back to another video from Holy Macro Photography. Um, in these videos, my goal is to give you some context and some background into what it is that I do and, and in some cases how I do it. Today's video uh, specifically is going to deal with taking a scanning electron microscope image and colorizing the parts. So we start off in Photoshop. Uh, this is an old research image of mine. So you'll see from the numbers below, uh, the magnification of this developing flower was 95 times uh, normal size. So if you look at the scale bar, the flower itself is about, I don't know, half a, micro, half, a micro, half a millimeter in size. So what I've done is I've gotten rid of the information at the bottom. I've brought up the details and, and dealt with the color a little bit. And now what I'm doing is I've selected the flower and inverted that selection to choose the background, um, which I've made green. Now I'm in the process of selecting the central most portion of the flower, which is the, the pistil. And what I do is I go through and I select each whorl uh, individually and then do a uh, hue and saturation uh, layer mask over top. The goal is for all of uh, the layers to obviously have different colors, but uh, once I pick a color and I pick a hue and saturation uh, for a particular layer, I, I keep the same hue and saturation and just work with the color numbers. So here I've selected out the stamens and I'm, I'm coloring those blue. And then finally, I work on selecting out the petals and in nature um, the pistols are not pink and the stamens are not blue uh, but the petals are yellow and so that's why I've tried to select a particular hue of yellow and then I'm just going back and sort of darkening out the background um, the sepals on this particular flower were dissected off and there's a lot of broken tissue um, so rather than just make it plain black I've I've gone and just made it a dark green I then uh, save a high resolution TIFF image as well as a lower resolution JPEG image. And as you'll see, the next step is to take those images and put them into my website and on Pictorum. So this is just showing you the, the changes that have been that have taken place. So I start by loading the JPEG to my website, and then this process that you see here is loading the TIFF file onto Pictorum. I then go back and uh, put the link information into the website image so that when you click on an image, it takes you directly to the Pictorum site. And this is what the Pictorum site looks like um, for users. And I've chosen some defaults to show you what uh, particular images look like and in this case it, there's a default of a canvas print and they also include a framed print. So here I've gone back up, uh, chosen canvas or I've chosen metal and it shows you the different prices and different sizes and then I've gone back to canvas and then you can see the different prices for the different sizes and if you click on an eyeball it will take you to a room view of that particular print. Um, as you'll see later on, you can choose the different room views. You can choose different sizes within a room to show uh, sort of contextually what it will look like in a space. Um, so from large to small, I think what I was trying to do here was find where the framed views were and what I will come to realize at some point is that the framed prints uh, max out at 40 inches um, in size. So that's why they're not included in here because this just includes the, the versions that can go above, above that size. The maximum size that I've set for all prints is 60 inches and the minimum size is 8 inches. So as you can see below, you can choose different types of rooms. I think this is just an office space home office space. So we're still in canvas mode. And if I come down here and click on frame mode, it will take you to the framing website. 
and here you can pick different sizes um, you can pick different colored mats you can pick it not to be mat matted and as you can see as I scroll up and down it maxes out at 39 um, and at some point as I scroll down there's a there's a statement that says that framed prints uh, max out at a, at a width of 40 inches um, so again you can go down and you can choose a room view it gives you an idea and there's dozens and dozens of different types of frames that you can that you can choose uh, different sizes different widths uh, different decorations depending upon what the image looks like so I really like that aspect um, and that's essentially it again thanks for watching and uh, once I find another project to give you some insight into I'll post another video thanks bye